Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. A. A. Viana asks, I never thought this would happen, but one of my little slideshows was accepted as an official entry in the Idlewild Cinema Festival. Congratulations. In January, it's about a native lemon lily and how it was almost wiped out in the community's efforts to reintroduce it. That's very cool. So here's the question. She wants to create a DVD for projection in a movie theater. The source material is high-res still images. What's the best FCP settings, project, and sequence to make the project look its best on DV on big screen? First, convince them not to take a DVD. Convince them to play a QuickTime movie, because you can get much higher quality with a QuickTime movie than you can with DVD. Why? We can take a QuickTime movie and make it high def. A DVD will always be standard def. A DVD will always be interlaced, even if you don't want it to be. A QuickTime movie can be interlaced or progressive. What I recommend you do, go to Audio Video Settings, and you set it to Apple ProRes. Apple ProRes, and depending upon what the projector resolution is, and here you need to check with the theater, most projectors will only be able to project an image of 1280 by 720. Some may go up to a 2K image, but you need to check before you create the file, because if it downsamples, you're going to be better off downsampling yourself. Set the sequence preset to ProRes. And because, of, uh, because you're going to be feeding it still images, they will be progressive, no interlacing, and you play the QuickTime movie, you're going to get a high-definition picture, it's going to look great, and you're not going to have interlacing, and you won't have to worry about the DVD, which means a special setting in audio-video settings, not easy setup. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.